Working on SCADA and automation projects in the Caribbean where I live means working on projects of a very small scale, as opposed to other regions like North America, Europe, Asia, etc. Now this has some implications. To deliver, to sell and implement these types of solutions, it helps to have two abilities. Number one, the ability to effectively deliver a solution under conditions of a tight budget. And two, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be able to know about instrumentation, PLCs, HMIs, and everything in between. You, it's difficult to specialize in just one type of skill like PLC programming and survive in this region because the projects, again, are very small. Now, recently, a systems integrator came to me and asked me to come up with a Windows-based HMI solution that would be free, believe it or not. Why? Well, they were proposing a pilot project to the ops manager in a company, and the ops manager said, well, we have a certain budget, and I need this pilot done so I can convince my CEO to invest more money. And the pilot project was just essentially monitoring a few data points on a flow meter. I think it was two flow meters. And you couldn't, you couldn't tell them, well, you have to purchase, you know, some other HMI for five, ten thousand US dollars to do this pilot project. No. So the idea was come up with a free HMI project, just data visualization, nothing else, believe it or not, and use that as a, as a proof of concept. So what I did, I used something called advanced HMI to create that free HMI that will run on a Windows computer. And in the rest of this video, I'm just going to give you a glimpse of um, uh, advanced HMI and show you how easy it is. What I'm going to do is just um, connect a Modbus TCP server and read a single holding register just to show you how easy it is to do it. And it's completely free. All right, let's go. All right, so what I have here is a Modbus TCP simulator called ModSim32, really handy application. It's the greatest Modbus simulator ever. So it's a holding register, uh, 40,001. And what I have is the value in here changing um, on randomly. I have a simulation going on. It's a great thing you can do with this Modbus TCP server. So uh, this is our target device that we want to read from. It can, it's essentially acting like a PLC. And in the particular project I was talking about, there was a PLC that was talking Modbus TCP. So I'm sort of mimicking that. Okay, good. So we have that running there. Now, advanced HMI is not exactly an application by itself. It's a, it's a .NET library encased in a solution and made by Manufacturing Automation LLC. And it's at advancedhmi.com. If you go there, you can download it. So essentially, you're downloading a zip file. You can do these, the uh, add to cart, but you don't pay anything for it. And when you download it, you get a zip file. And when you unzip it, you get all these files here, which is essentially a .NET solution that you use in Visual Studio. And you can download, I have Visual Studio 2019 here, Community Edition, absolutely free from Microsoft. Great thing that they did there. And even though you don't know how to do all the vb.net coding and c-sharp and so on you can still start and and just create a project by dragging and dropping believe me so um what i'm what i'm going to do is just go file open project solution uh, advanced hmi and i'm going to open the solution there and first thing i'm going to do is build the solution right and i already built it so uh, we want to go to main form and on the left here you're seeing all sorts of um, if you're accustomed to um, you know uh, Visual Studio programming you wouldn't see these controls normally you wouldn't see these these items so these were installed by uh, the advanced HMI solution and this is just a normal form here so I'm gonna delete this here that thing I'm going to leave the rest on top of there. Now, what I want to do, the first thing I have to do is drag and drop a driver. Now, Advanced HMI has a lot of different drivers. On the product pages here, you can get Ethernet IP for Comback Logics, SLC Micro, Modbus TCP, RTU, Armron, and so on. In addition to that, it has an OPC DA driver. So you can talk to any OPC server, which is really cool. Good. All right. And there, there's some documentation on the website as well. And so let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is drag and drop a Modbus TCP component like there. So it comes right there. And I'm going to change one of the properties. I am going to change the IP address. Right. So the IP address 
of my computer is that. And the reason I'm putting that in there because mod sim, this is the address, it's on the same computer and that's the, so this is the target and it assumes the IP address of my computer as well. And that's the IP address here, 192.168.0.16. That's all I have to do, driver is done. And then I can go to any one, well, any one of these I can display an analog value. I have all sorts of things like displays and charts and gauges and all sorts of things there. I'm just going to take and drag and drop a digital panel meter and do like that. And then I'm going to specify a holding register. I'm going to go down there. PLC address value. It's using the COM component Modbus TCP COM. Right, so you're telling it to use this particular driver. And I am going to, oops, just go down there. And PLC address value, 40,001. Right, that's what we want to read. And now what we do is that we go start. And I'll build the project and there it is there. Look at that, and we're done. So this is the value changing here and it's constantly reading it. So I've just created basically a small HMI by dragging some components and plugging in some values in Visual Studio, believe it or not. Now you could you could do um, Modbus TCP here with different types of registers. You can do different types of protocols. You can drop drag and drop as many um, objects here as you want, any amount of data points you want to monitor. There's no limit to this. So you can get really, really flexible with it. Uh, there are other things in there um, that that uh, like you can do with uh, things like trending and so on. And uh, even there's a small web server in there. So what you do is that you don't have to keep Visual Studio running to do this. You can then go and build and you can actually build uh, an actual executable by publish advanced HMI. You can build your custom application, publish it so it runs at a standalone EXE and just run it. And that is essentially what I did for the project, just data visualization. So it was a bunch of holding registers to read. So you see how very easy you can actually try this at home, try this and see that it actually works. So great little piece of software right there. Okay.